sake, what would I possibly want of yours? Well, aside from my wife, plenty, I'm sure. I already had Yagi Pharmaceuticals in my pocket. Would have been a nifty trophy to add to my collection had I been on the hunt for a new one. But I wasn't. In fact, I handed it right up to Lois, just like I promised. Mmm, that's not exactly the way I remember it. It's close. You got your record company back, now everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. Except you. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled, actually, myself. Well, then that makes two of us. Or is it three? See, I think your real target was ELQ. <laughs> not Yagi. Because, because, have you always suffered from acute paranoia, or did it develop once I arrived in town? You think I'd be so stupid to uh, pursue a privately held family enterprise that hasn't the slightest interest in retaining outside shareholders? Why not? You wouldn't be out of character. <laughs> what would I do? Just stroll into the Quartermain mansion and grab Edward by the collar and, and shake him until he decides to sell me the majority of his stock? You know. And that would bring a whole new meaning to the term hostile takeover. Mm -hmm. You know more about that than you. I don't know. My brother? You? Okay, you know what? This is enough, because this, this is all we have. I mean, Look we could actually to. go back to the gatehouse and do something really important like our nails. Oh, yeah, and make some popcorn, which would be a lot more entertaining than which one of you has the bigger ego. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> glasses of red house special thanks mike you guys ready for a table maybe in a few minutes do you mind if we sit here a little longer a second thought let, let, let's let's be adventurous and go someplace else huh? i'm in the mood for a different menu i love that idea hey Mike, could you put these on hold for me? How about a doggy bag? <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go somewhere where nobody knows us. I'm there. Night, Mike. Uh, look, I'll try not to take this personally. <laughs> Would you excuse me for a moment? Yes? What a treat oh. that is to see you again. Hi, Jack. Well, it, uh, it worked. Brenda and I aren't going to Ireland after all. What you and Brenda do mean nothing to me. You don't need to fill me in on your plans. And we didn't reschedule our little jaunt either. We thought it'd be more fun to have everything flown here instead. You know, we're expecting six dozen oysters, uh, cracked crab, salmon, healthy supply of Guinness, and homemade brown bread. Is there, is, there a, uh, is there a reason why you're telling me this? Yeah, well, yes, actually, I was wondering if you, if you like fresh oysters. I thought uh, I'd uh, have a dozen sent along for you and Lily to enjoy. Now, those mollusks uh, have a reputation to inspire romance. May I have them sent to you with my compliments? Yeah, yeah, fine, thanks. Good. And all four of us can savor the delicacy. Thank you. Gotta go. Yes, so do I. I left Brenda waiting. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Up a little bit. Me? What about him? He is simply trying to be friendly. Why can't you see that? Because I don't trust him. What's he gonna do? I've already made it perfectly clear that he's got absolutely no chance with me. So why can't we just sit back, enjoy ourselves, and stop it with the interrogation? Excuse me. I merely confronted him on a couple of his more dubious exploits. What's wrong with that? Because this isn't a dinner about business exploits. Nobody wanted that. Oh, I disagree. Jax is all business, all the time. He is very skillfully setting us up to stab us in the back. <laughs> that is such bunk. And you're just saying that because that's probably something you would do. Don't you dare compare me to him. The truth is, you two have so much in common. You'd probably be best friends if you'd have met sooner. I agree. I mean, you have the same taste in women. Where'd he go, anyway? I don't know. <sighs> 
I'd like to pay for dinner now before my pal Ned grabs the bill right out of my hand. Too late. Already covered. Son of a gun. When? He called earlier and said that you'd be his guest tonight. There's no music. Where have you been? Did you miss me? You wish. Actually, I was uh, explaining to Mr. Corinthos how I was going to bring you Ireland. Actually, I got a little carried away and offered him and the missus uh, a dozen oysters. Got his attention. Oh, good. Well, maybe Lily's allergic and she'll break out into a rash. Let's order. I am so famished. Me too. Especially since it's not my tab. Enjoying your evening? Well, it's slightly less of a disaster than I thought it would be. Slightly. <laughs> I did my part to keep the peace. Stayed out everyone's way. Everyone except Sunny. Are you complaining? Actually, I'm grateful. <laughs> you know, this new friendship of ours has real potential. Mm. It's nice to see her smile again. Mm -hmm. Almost as nice as having you all to myself. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot what that's like. Oh, come on. Don't exaggerate. Besides, you're on the subject of Brenda, not us. Aren't you happy to see her coming out of her funk? Mm-hmm. Of course. And the more time she spends with Jax, the less time he has to make the moves on you. <laughs> ELQ, or whatever it is he has up his sleeve. Okay, there you go again. Can't you just give the guy a break? Not until he knows that I'm on to him. About what, Ned? His lack of morality? What makes him any different than you or your grandfather? Geez, if I didn't know you any better, I'd have to agree with Jax. You are a little paranoid. Not paranoid. Just aware. 